Number two, this one's for five marks, and we're going to part A, show that this x minus one is a factor of this expression here for two marks, and in part B, solve this equation equal to zero. Well, part A first, so it's a factor, we'll just use your synthetic division. You're going to need it for part B anyway. You could show it's a factor by putting one through this and showing you get the answer of zero, but then you'd have to start again to do part B. So I'll just put down these coefficients, making sure they're all there, and they are all there, and if x minus 1 is a factor, that means x equals 1 is a root. don't know if you need to state that or not. x equals 1 is a root. I'll just put a wee note down. So, feeding it through the synthetic division, add down, multiply up. Add down, multiply up. Add down, multiply up. Add down, and you get 0. But justify it. So you would say the remainder equals 0 which means x minus 1, let's put in the brackets, is a factor. B. Hence or otherwise, well it would be hence, but it would be otherwise if you showed it was a factor by running 1 through this to show you got an answer of 0 for x equals 1 being a root. But if you did it this way, then it's a hence. Hence, solve f of x equal to 0. Well, that just means this equals 0. I'll write it out, though. 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus x plus 2 equals 0. And I know a factor already. Or rather, I know a linear factor already. And I know the remaining quadratic factor is 2x cubed minus 3x minus 2 equals 0. Now, it just remains to factorise this. And it should be fairly straightforward. It can only be 2x times x. It can only be a 1 times a 2. I want a difference of 3, so I better put the 2 there to make a 4. And the negative will go to the larger one. So that will be the opposite there. So there's the complete factorization. So here's the solutions. So x is going to be, you can either put them down in that order or put them in numerical order. You won't get any marks for doing that, though. Extra marks for doing that, though. So x equals negative a half. x equals... 1 and x equals 2.